I think right, so. Just give us your name and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. For a lot of people, music is a hobby or is just a job, but for me, it's about healing. This is very important what I'm about to tell you. It's very serious. I have a chronic medical condition. It's physical, it's mental. It affects every aspect of my life. There's a lot of symptoms a lot and it's all together all at once at random moments periodically through the day every day i'll get the same feeling my stomach will start making noises i'll get a little dizzy i'll get irritable extremely irritable when i go outside in the cold in spokane i get this extreme skin sensitivity makes me shake, I get goosebumps. Tired, weak, watery bowels. I can feel my heart beating. Chills, fever, dizzy, dry mouth. It's really, really hard for me to read. Signs of hyperthermia, anorexia, but also mostly weight gain. Heartburn, itching, signs of hyperthermia, being nauseous, anorexia, thirsty, but also mostly weight gain, bloating, belching, rashes in my no-no zones, hyperthermia, loss of consciousness, vaginal bleeding, cramps. Some of these symptoms I've experienced a lot. Some of these symptoms I've experienced one time. But some of these symptoms I haven't ex experienced at all. I've been seeing my doctor weekly for consultations. He has uh, a lot of suggestions and uh, I just be like, hey man, my throat's sore today. And he's like, oh, okay. And then he just gives me some honey and tea. It's like, there you go doesn't address the main problem. I don't think uh, he helps me initially at the time, but he doesn't see the big picture. I'm done ignoring these conditions. I've done the research. We're talking about a chronic illness here. For a long time, it's been hard for people to understand my condition, mostly because I don't understand it myself. Recently, I found a huge discovery. So I was watching this thing on Discovery Channel about dolphins and these sea creatures some, sometimes develop this disease called cetaceous virus. Apparently, humans can't get cetaceous virus. I beg to differ. In seventh grade, we took a trip to SeaWorld. I was very, very excited about it. Dolphins are one of my favorite sea creatures of all time. I wanted to pet that dolphin. I ate a lot of pizza that day. I had some residual pepperoni grease on my fingers. I went up to that dolphin, went to go pet that beautiful nose, and he bit my hand. I told my doctor that I had this dolphin disease, and he looked at me like I'm completely crazy. I called that SeaWorld. That dolphin's fucking dead. I asked some questions. I told them about my incident. And they told me that dolphin died like 10 years ago. That was a sick ass fucking dolphin. Something I can't ignore. I have to push forward and figure this out. I have to be normal again. For a while, I was just losing hope. I was never going to find the cure. There's only one thing that works, and it's Vess. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. I don't know if it's because there's no sleeves. I don't know if it's because my arms can breathe. I feel a sense of wholeness. I feel a sense of a healthy lifestyle. Just all from a vest. Now that I wear a vest, it's not that the symptoms go away. They just don't bother me anymore. I'm Scotty Fighter, and I'm living with cetaceous morbidal virus. <laughs>